It's Friday, August 8th. This is the City Hall Weekend Review. You can find this video at ottawasun.com at the end of every week. Well, the big event this week was the opening of the Richcraft Senseplex in the East End. It's in the ward of Councillor Tim Tierney. He was very excited to see hundreds of people there to see the ribbon cutting. It's an amazing facility, multi-ice pad, nice big lobby. There's a bar upstairs. It costs $26 million. It's a partnership between the city and a private group that involves the Ottawa Senators. And the good news is the Sens want to build more Sensplexes in the capital region. And that's great news also for City Hall because it doesn't have a lot of infrastructure money for these type of new recreation centers because a lot of that money is going into the transit system. Also this week we found out that the city and its largest union, CUPE, are going to arbitration after they couldn't hammer out three new collective agreements through the negotiation process. And this isn't good news actually for City Hall because whatever the arbitrator decides, the city is bound to implement that decision. Now Mayor Jim Watson has been trying to get Queens Park to change the arbitration process. So arbitrators take into account a city's ability to pay. So we'll see how this arbitration affects city budgets going forward. Join us again at the end of next week. We'll bring all the news from 110 Laurier. For Sun Media, I'm John Willing.